what was it made us change our way of living overnight? What turned our resources, our machines, our whole nation into one vast arsenal, producing more and more weapons of war instead of the old materials of peace? title of this video is Why We Fright, Not Why We Fight. And this is a takeoff on the series of seven films that were produced in the war years of World War II to be shown to soldiers. They were produced by the War Department. So why we fright? Why do we frighten people? What's behind all of it? Now you'd already picked up on the idea that first of all it's changing the economy, moving the economy away from a peaceful economy to a wartime economy. We are currently seeing such a movement right now. Maybe not as great as what it was in World War II, but the moving of the economy away from its normal function to an irregular function. What put us into uniform, ready to engage the enemy on every continent and every ocean? Now we are engaged in a uniform, different type of uniform, fighting a different type of enemy right now. But the same war propaganda film applies to today, except the enemy is invisible. What are these two worlds of which Mr. Wallace spoke? The free and the slave. Okay, the quotation taken from Vice President Wallace is false. Now they're going to present to you a false dichotomy between a free world and a world of slavery. The entire world lieth in the hand of the wicked one. So spiritually speaking the whole world is a world of slavery. But the film of propaganda is to make you convinced that the world in which you live in is a world of freedom. And all wars are about fighting the duality of freedom and slavery. So you notice that the earth is presented as a ball, not a flat plane. That's another deception. But Interestingly enough, before your eyes are two balls. <laughs> and it used to be the passcode in the uh, Masonic lodges was two ball cane. Two balls with a cane. Two ball cane. Plus, it was also um, a reference to the biblical character in the Bible. Two ball. All right, so it's a false dichotomy presented to you so that they will perform the dialectic materialism on you. In other words, thesis, antithesis. And out of the contrast or out of the struggle between thesis and antithesis comes synthesis. So the thesis, the, the free world, the antithesis, the slave world, and then the synthesis is what comes out of the war. And that's one of the things that's at the heart of all wars is to produce the synthesis or the outcome of the war. So currently we're engaged in a war and it's the outcome that you need to keep your eyes on because we are in a very similar struggle a two ball cane struggle that is false dichotomies constantly being presented to you I won't speak of the dichotomies and I won't speak specifically of the uh, current war but it's a different type of war than we've ever known 
Let's take the free world first. Our world. How did it become free? Only through a long and unceasing struggle inspired by men of vision. Okay, so now we're going to jump into some more BS garbage, and I'll do that in the next video. The series is Why We Fright. Why do the controllers frighten people? It's a spoof on Why We Fight. I'd like to thank you for watching.